In this workbook, we have sales data and a pivot table that summarizes all the quantities sold. We're going to see how to group those sales into four week periods that match our sales periods. We don't want to use standard month groupings because our company has 13 periods per year, four weeks per period. Here's the sales data. We can see that there's a date in the first column and then information about what we sold. From this data, we've built a pivot table and it summarizes all the sales by date. Instead of having a long list of dates, I'm going to group them. And to do that, I'll right click on any one of the dates, click group, then you get some built in options. So it will usually have months selected when you go in. You could summarize by year and months or quarters, but we're going to unselect those. We would like four week periods and there's no option here for weeks but we can use days there are seven days per week we've got four weeks so that will be a total of 28 days so that will be our grouping I'll just select that and type 28 now if I click OK it creates these groups and I can see that it's starting with January 1st 2013 and that's the first date in our data if I go back to the list and look at it, that's the first date we've got, but it falls on a Tuesday and our sales periods start on a Monday. So I'm going to go back in and fix that. I'll right click on a date again, click group, and here is the default start date. It just picked up the first date in the source data. I'm going to select all that and type the date I really want to use, which is the day before that, the Monday. So that would be December 31st, 2012. It automatically removes that check mark. The check mark means use the default date. And we're not going to, so we'll be going with our own start date. And when I click OK now, it changes. Each period starts on a Monday and ends on a Sunday and that will match our sales periods. So when you're grouping dates in a pivot table, you don't have to stick with the default start date. You can pick something better based on the periods that you want to create. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.